Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back on our bed build today. Guys, this has become more of a challenge than I thought it would be. It's not as simple as just cutting some trees down and peeling them. First thing you gotta do is get them jokers standing up straight when they're not straight to start with. They have crooks in them and they're uneven and, and that's the beauty of it. But once I figured out, I took a level, I mean, there's no way to possibly get them perfectly level, but I wanted I could get them close enough and I would, and I took a piece of flat lumber here. I laid around the bottom on the concrete because the concrete's level and once I got them level and propped up, I took that board and ran all the way around it, made me a mark and then I sawed them off and stood them up and they're fairly level. So these two here are the footboards. And when you put a, a headboard or a footboard together, you want at least the ends of it to be straight across. The boards may be crooked or the poles may be crooked, but you can let the crook run to the inside and not the outside. So once I got them stood up and kind of got them looking like I wanted them to look, on top of the post here, I put two arrows. Um, I've got them done with a pencil. I don't have it done with a pen where you can probably see it very well, but I have these two arrows facing one another. That lets me know exactly which way I want these two posts to go when I put them together so that I don't get confused. Then I've done the same procedure with the large ones here. This is the headboard. Once I got them plumbed up and cut off where they stand as plumb as I can get them, I figured out the height I wanted and I took a level here on the concrete and I put across and I marked a level line from one side to the other side. That way when I run my level all the way around the top of this on both of them, at least both posts when I cut them off will be the same height for the bed. Now, one thing I've learned about this bed already, this bed without the mattresses is probably gonna weigh over a thousand pounds. And I didn't really anticipate that. <laughs> so by the time I put the side rails on it and all the headboard boards in here and all, uh, because of the size of these, it's going to be an extremely heavy bed. So there's gonna be a lot of drilling. There's going to be a lot of big lag bolts, a lot of steel plates and stuff like that that goes into this bed to hold it together to make sure that it doesn't move. Now you will see me building it out here and actually cutting it and putting it together out here, but it will be disassembled and took back into the cabin and put together in the cabin because there's just no way you're going to pick this thing up and move it around. So it's got to be took... Each one of these posts are probably... I don't know, they're 100, 150 pounds each because sassafras, it's probably still drying. It's not completely dry yet. Uh, it's, it's pretty heavy. And these posts are a good eight inches in diameter. So, yeah, it's going to be heavy. So you'll see me make it out here, do the cuts, and, you know, build it, but it will be disassembled and took into the cabin and put together inside the cabin. So just keep following along here, guys, on, um, on our YouTube channel. <laughs> and watch us as we put this thing together and we cut our pieces and show you how we're doing it. Maybe it'll be something to inspire you to do the same thing for yourself. Thank you from Deep South Homestead. I know they make a thing to go around pipes, but that won't work on this. Almost. Okay guys, we're now back under my shed around here. We have the two side rails laying on top of the saw horses. What I've done is I've picked the position this one year I want it to sit on the bed in. This is the position it will sit in. I took a level and I plumbed the line down over the depth I wanted for the uh, mattress to sit inside of this. Once I got the line plumbed down, I come down about two inches and I squared a line out. Now, what, I've done this on both ends. I plumbed down and squared a line out. 
What we're going to do is I put a mark on top of the pole and I put a mark on the side of the pole. We're going to pop a chalk line to the other end of it in both places. That will show me where this, I'm cutting out this piece of wood right here. The one I'm putting X on right here. This piece of wood will cut out. And this is what our slats will go into for our mattress to actually rest on, on the bed. So we're going to get one, I'm going to get one to help me. We're going to pop this chalk line and then afterwards we'll look at it and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, we've got the, uh, the line right here and here. We have a chalk line pop from here and here all the way to the other end of the log, all the way down. You see the blue lines on it? That's the section we've got to cut out. Now that's going to be a little bit of a job. I'm going to have to start working on it. I don't know how long the battery on my saw will run. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some screws in top of the saw horses to hold this thing steady. snap Aren't you Get the, uh... Oh yeah, she's still wet in the middle. Okay guys, you can see how we've got the, uh, the L cut out of it now. Our slats in our bed will lay here. That will hold our, this, the edge of this will hold our mattress from sliding off of the bed. So that is one rail done for one side, worked out beautiful. All right, we've got our second log up here. We run into an issue here. The log is six inches on that end. It's almost eight and a half inches on this end. So what I decided to do was to measure this end six inches to match the other end. We popped the chalk line down it to get rid of the part through here that's a lot wider. That'll give us a, a good straight surface all the way down the log so that we've got the same size to work with on it when we cut our uh, V out of it for our uh, mattress slats to set in. Okay guys, we've got these uh, cut out. You see the V troughs in them. It'll sit up on its side like that. We ripped the side of this log off where we have the right thickness. Now this will be toward the inside of the bed. And we're gonna try to get the legs ready next. We're gonna cut these to length. And we'll be showing you the next phase of putting together the log bed. 
And I hope that you'll enjoy the series on this. So thank you guys from the Deep South Homestead.